Well, Bill, along the lines of your Blue Friday, Mothers Against Drunk Driving New Jersey recognized an astounding 600 police officers who have played a major role in cracking down on drunk driving at an awards breakfast on Rutgers campus. These are both municipal and NJ state police officers who have had the most DWI arrests in their county. Now, Stephen Benvenisti, who is a national MAD board member and also a personal injury lawyer, shared his story of being a survivor. When he was back in college on spring break at Daytona Beach, a drunk driver hit him while he was walking. Uh, I sustained catastrophic injuries, including severe damage uh, to my brain. And my parents were called in the middle of the night to consent to organ donation because it didn't look like I would survive. And if I survived, I'd be completely and totally disabled. My parents didn't consent to organ donation. They instead flew to Florida and took pictures of me on full life support. Stephen shared those chilling photos. And he says events like this give him a reason to show the men and women who saved so many lives why what they do is so important. And when I have the opportunity to speak at a law enforcement recognition event, I use that as my opportunity to thank the police officers in a way that they may not hear enough. The top award was given to Sergeant Michael Vol with the Delaware Riverport Authority Transit Police. He made 94 DWI arrests last year. A lot of people are very remorseful, but there are some people that just flat out don't care. And it's kind of disappointing, but uh, many people, they do, they do express immediate remorse and that's good and you hope they're not going to repeat. Now, police shared that in 2014, more than 32,000 people in this country were killed because of a drunk driver. That is 90 people a day and they expect the numbers for 2015 to be even worse. You know, you go back to 2005 and over the past, uh, you know, 11, 12 years, the, uh, there hasn't been, unfortunately, a dramatic change in the percentage of fatalities on the highway caused by drunks. From 2005, it was 21%, and in 2014, it was 21%. That's my question to you. If yeah. there's a lot more to do, what do you do? Because much stiffer penalties have been levied. Laws have been passed. The consequences are horrible if you get caught. Yeah. But as you but said, the death stats haven't changed. I think there's a positive solution. I think that the government needs to get out of the way of ride sharing services like Uber, because in my mind, over the next few years, with this advent of, of Uber cars everywhere, you're going to see those drunk driving stats come down. That's it's going to be something positive, not a negative that I think drives the stats.